Shalom Kal Akim. I'm going to start by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace, blessings, and salutations to the tabernacle of David, whom the Lord is rising in these last days. Shalom. The first scripture, well, this, uh, this video is going to be entitled, Shut Up With The Excuses. And the first scripture I'm going to start out with, this is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. So the Lord, his call is unto his men, the, the men of Israel. Because when the men of Israel get right, the whole nation is going to get right. The whole nation is going to follow suit. So the Lord right now is calling men into the ministry. This is the book of Ezekiel. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 31. And ye, my flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, just to nail the point in the coffin, I mean, just to nail the point, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, his pasture are men, and he's dealing with the men of Israel. So as a man, a man con conducts in a certain manner. This is the book of Job. Chapter 38. And three. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand it of thee and answer thou me. So the, the Lord said, gird up thy loins as a man. Men don't make excuses. Men just, they, they handle their responsibilities and they bear burdens. That's what makes them men. That's what makes them of honor. And um, we start out by saying double honors to the apostles and elders. Honor uh, also means weight or heavy. You know, because if you're of if you're of honor, that means you, you know you can you can handle great burdens. You you can hold um, great weight. You know, the hundred and forty four thousand, the elect men of of the nation of Israel, they're going to be the the foundation of the whole nation. Just like Yahweh Shai is the foundation the chief cornerstone of the spiritual house, the elect, the 144,000. So this is um, the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 13. The slothful man saith, there is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. So the slothful man, he comes up, he's, he's scared, and he comes up with a whole bunch of excuses why he can't get things done. There's no excuse for you not to be able to do the work and handle your responsibilities in the spirit. You know, unless you're a slothful man. It says the slothful man Say it, there is a lion without, and I shall be slain in the streets. Coming up with some with some bullshit ass excuses before he even tries to uh to do the work. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha, chapter 32, verse 17. It says, A sinful man. Sinful meaning full of sin, full of transgressions, right? Sirach 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. 
a sinful man will come up with an excuse for everything why they can and can't do what they're what they are demanded of and the lord isn't dealing with sinful men he's dealing with men that are striving for righteousness striving for perfection men of the lord that's who the, who the lord is dealing with and that's who the who the men the lord has called he didn't call sinful men slothful men he called diligent men the scriptures say to be diligent okay this uh, this is the book of luke chapter 14 i'm going to start at verse 15 and uh, and when one of them sat at meat with him heard these things he said unto him blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of the most high that's a great blessing to eat bread in the kingdom of the most high verse 16 then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. Okay? So this man is a blessing to, to, uh, to eat at the table in the kingdom of heaven. So, and the Lord, he's prepared the supper for the kingdom of heaven. And he's bade servants. All right. So I'm just going to um, read verse 18 again. It says, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must need go and see it. I pray thee, have me excuse. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excuse. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. Coming up with all these excuses, okay, that all men deal with. You're not special. All these excuses are common to all men. But as you as a man, you have to handle your responsibilities. Verse uh, 21. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Because the, the Lord had a servant and he bade these men. And then a servant came back to the Lord and, and told him all, all these excuses that these men came up with. So verse 21. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servants, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. You know, the lowly, the outcasts of the society. Verse 22, And the servants said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in that, that my house may be filled. And that's why we go out on the highways and the byways. That's why we put videos out, you know, on the web to bait the meek and lowly of this great, of the great supper of the Lord. Okay. Verse 24. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. So the first verse I read. And Luke 14 was, that is a blessing to eat in the house of the Most High. And then these men, they started making excuses. I can't, I, I'm about to get married, Lord. Uh, I got some work to do. And the Lord said, none of these men. Let me read it again. For, verse 24, Luke 14 and 24. For I say unto you that none of, the, none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And we don't want to be those men. All right. We want to taste of the Lord's Supper. We want to eat and drink with the Lord in the kingdom of heaven. So we can't be making up with these excuses because the Lord's going to cast out the excuse makers. Verse 25. And there went great multitudes with him, and he and and he turned and said unto them, 
If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. All right. You can't put your mother, your father, your brother, your loved ones, not even yourself before the Lord, because that's ultimately what those excuse makers do. They put their, their wife before the Lord or, or doing the work. They put their children before doing the Lord or doing the work. They put their job before the Lord or doing the work. They put their own belly, their own pleasures before doing the will of the Lord. And the Lord said, if you do that, you cannot be his disciple. Verse 27, and whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. That's why I started these scriptures out with the Lord calls on, unto men. And the Lord says, gird up thy loins like a man. Because if you can't gird up your loins, if you can't bear the cross like a man, like a righteous man of the Lord, you can't be Yahweh and Yahshai's disciple. You're going to be casted out. You're not going to eat of that great supper of the Lord. You're not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and counteth the cost whether you have sufficient to finish it? You got to count the cost. You got to understand what you're into and the responsibilities that, that, that come with it. Let's happily after he had laid the foundation, is not able to finish it. All that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. You're going to be mocked at. And, and that's it. When, when you fall out of this ministry, that's what happens. You get, you're get you mocked. You're scorned. You're like, look at this clown. Okay? But I believe the point was made. So, Lord willing, this was an edifying video, you know, and I made this video first and foremost for myself, but Lord willing, it was edifying to those who watched it. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bashin, Yahweh, Shai, double honors to the apostles, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom.